else and you can get back with another video on trendy tuesdays i'll be about to get shit as usual um i'm going to be showing you guys how i shoot photo shoots from home a little behind the scenes a little this a little that i already got ready because i was looking crusty before and plus it's not really about like how i do my makeup how i do my hair it's about how i set up for my at home photo shoots so if you want to see what i'm about to do keep watching i wanted to say i need to go get some edge control so i'm about to go do that but i wanted to make sure i started recording for y'all because it is getting late in the day because you know looking this good don't just take a few seconds so yeah but <laughs> i'm about to get ready and go outside because yeah. i just why is there flash all this doing like a little fit to go to the store you know to give it a vibe i just added the red to match the red on the side in my platforms that y'all never see because I never wear them because everyone says that they look funny on me, but I don't care. I don't. Got my edge control. Yee! Here is the backdrop, what I have created. I used some old Polaroid pictures, used some tape, hung them up, and then I used a blanket as my actual backdrop and some cute plants just to give it a little texture, if you know what I mean. Look was inspired by Jude Demores. I'm so sorry if I messed that up, but yeah. <laughs> In case you guys were wondering, how I'll be taking my pictures. Um, I didn't say that before, but this is how I'll be taking my pictures just because I want that Polaroid effect. So that's why I'm recording in this, taking it with this. I added sparkles, I'm wearing my fake skin.
So, I just finished the shoot, you know, from home. I had glitter on, but you can't really see in the pictures as you guys just saw that I just showed you guys some of the pictures. Those are the ones that I decided to post, actually. Um, I really like those ones. I really like a few. I like how they came out, I guess, kind of. I don't know. I have a headache, guys. Like, I don't know what the fuck's been going on. I have a headache, and it's been coming and going for the past couple of days and i've been drinking mad water and maybe that's what it is maybe i've been drinking too much water but it's like why does the issue but yeah so whatever but i really love those pictures i hope you guys like them too and i guys, i hope you guys get inspired to you know do photo shoots from home because it's not that hard and don't get me wrong i love my photographer i love going to photo shoots i love going to little go sees i love that but you know sometimes a girl gotta do it from home save with that money and do it at home do with the things that you can use like i used a older blanket that i don't really use that much um some older polaroid pictures that i had just laying around and some plants because i have a lot of plants in my house little fake plants but yeah <laughs> anyway so yeah you know you could use whatever you want to in your house for inspiration if you have a blank wall use that as a canvas for your photo shoots if you have like curtain sheets like i have sheer ones and i actually was thinking about doing stuff with that but i have sheer ones and those are like a really good cool like theme if you was going for something like see-through sexy you know elegant i don't know it, it's giving a lot and then like if you have sheets if you have blankets if you have you know whatever you would use for a backdrop if you don't have a backdrop you know what i mean so yeah but okay that is the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i don't know why my makeup doesn't look like it's blended but it's blended like in person it's blended But it's not blending out. Whatever. We're not going to talk about it. Anyway, though, have a good night, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember to always keep up with the trends. Keep up with the latest. By turning your bell's notification on. Thank you.